first period, Ryan Taylor turns Matthew Tozer inside out, causing him to slip, but Tozer, by virtue of being out of the play, winds up getting a scoring chance moments later, but Austin Kane gobbles up the shot. Shelby Reinster looking for his first goal. He's going to see the ice here, but not the kind of ice time he was looking for. Whitby power play, Brock Welsh slides the puck over for Liam Robertson. He puts it past Jake Sabrin for his second goal of the season, and that's going to make it one to nothing for the Whitby Fury. Second period, Matt Doucette brings that shot off the bar. Tigers unlucky not to be tied. Taylor and Domenico Argento inter introduce themselves to each other. A few gloves fly, but the end result here, Whitby goes to the power play where Nick Cork feeds Scott Curtin. He snaps a shot past Sabrin. That's going to give them a 2 to nothing lead. Luke Keenan acting as a distraction there. Didn't hurt the cause. Minute 45 later, Curtin gets his second goal of the game as he puts that one home through a crowd. 2 nothing. At the other end, Tigers looking for their first, but Kane with the help of Alex Boudreau gumming up the works. No one can get a shot through. Third period, Tigers break in 3-on-1 to make it 3-1. to one. Some nice passing finished off by Eric Holland, keeping his stick on the ice at the side of the goal. He gets the final touch. While that goal is still being announced, the puck pops out for Connor McMillan. He backhands a shot past Kane. Just like that, it's a one-goal game. Here they come again. It's McMillan a second time, breaks out, but Austin Kane steers that shot away. Fury looking to finish the game off. Nick Cork just gets robbed by the gloved hand of Sabrin. That's a thing of beauty, keeping his team alive. But with the Fury on the power play under five to go, Ryan Heaps bounces a puck off the skate and follows up with a goal. Something about that smile says he didn't exactly plan it that way. Nick Cork could add an empty netter to make it five to two, and that is the final. The Fury will next see action Thanksgiving Monday against Pickering.